Welcome back to Shining in Korea, Apple Brandy, part two. Like a Marvel movie, we're doing reshoots because something went weird with the microphones. Wow, <laughs> do I'm, you have I'm, enough microphones? I'm, I'm double tapping this time. Apparently. Are they both on? Yes. Okay. <laughs> anyway, so what we're doing, because we've got, you know, just a proverbial hard on for flavor. Wow. <laughs> We are reflavoring our stuff from the last run, the apple brand. We had a notion echo through this empty dome up here, watching our favorite show, Moonshiners, and its spinoff, Master Distiller Edition. Occasionally, they will redistill stuff. They'll do a double distillation. Well, they do a, what they call a flavor run. So we're doing a flavor run. This is our flavor run. We're, we're infusing more apple into our apple brandy. The first three that came out, I felt like they did not, they had a lot of high alcohol content, but I didn't feel like we really got as much apple in them. It was just kind of an afterthought in it. It was more like La Croix. <laughs> apple was standing next to it and said hi. But the further we got into that run, there was definitely more apple flavor. And then of course I was a little disappointed at the final couple because they were a little more cloudy. So we decided let's try something different. So I had the idea because we know that when we flavor with just plain juice, that doesn't work. So my idea was we create an apple simple syrup and we use that for future, like if we decide to flavor after this run, if we need more apple, if you wanna just superpower that apple. But we could also use part of that in our thump keg as well as cooking down some apples and um, apple juice and sugar and adding that to the thumb keg, which will give a whole lot more flavor to it. Right, so we're gonna have apple juice in with the apple brandy, which we're then going to distill through the thumb keg full of apples and apple simple syrup. And then we're gonna have syrup on the end. If that's not apple enough, we'll put a little dab in it. Just like that? Just like that. So we'll show you real quick how you can make your own apple simple syrup. All right, here we are, going mobile. Okay, so we have two cups of apple juice already in here. Now we're going to put our apples in, and then we are going to put two cups of brown sugar in, and then we're going to bring this up to a boil. So the brown sugar in this will give the syrup a little bit of a caramelly color, but also maybe even a little bit of a caramelly flavor to it. If I'd used really dark brown sugar, it'd be a lot more flavor in it. But brown sugar has a little more flavor, obviously, than just plain granulated white sugar. Just trying to make sure all the sugar gets in there. So now the game plan is bring this up to a boil. So we'll see you in a bit when it's boiling. And when they're not whining. Yes, I'm looking at you, Super Dog. All right, so we are now at a boil. So we're going to let this simmer for about 15 to 20 minutes. Once they have simmered, we're gonna pull out a, it's like a cheesecloth bag that we found here in Korea, because I didn't have cheesecloth. And we are going to mash the apples to strain the rest of the juice out of them. Then we're not getting rid of the apples because we're gonna put them over here in this pot, which is the pot of apples that we're warming up to go in our thump keg. We're just going to put all of that in with that so that we can keep that apple because it won't have lost its appleness. We're going full apple. We're going full apple. But we want that full apple flavor for our simple syrup, the apple simple syrup, for in case we decide we need more flavor. So that is where we are. We'll see you in about 15 to 20 minutes. These have boiled down a bit, and that sauce is very apple-y. We are now spooning. We're spooning? We're spooning. Who's the big spoon? You're the big spoon. <laughs> so we're going to put all these well done bits of apple in this little baggie here. And then we're going to give them 10, 15 minutes to cool off some. Yeah, and then we're going to mash them. We're going to mash the bejesus out of them. And get these. all the juicy juice. And then we're going to put them in with these that we boiled, which just have a little bit of sugar and some apple juice that's gonna go in our thump keg. Yep. And then we'll put all that in there, lock it down, and turn it on. And then this here 
is our syrup. Look at that. Gets the tasty. Now, the syrup, in order to thicken, it does have to cool. So as it cools, it will continue to thicken. You put it in the fridge, it's going to thicken a little bit faster. So we're going to cool it down and then we're going to put it in the fridge. But it's good. Mm. So, status update. That's where we are. All right. Never mind old Bessie running in the background here because, again, we're still doing reshoots. <laughs> hey, look. What? Look at this. Oh, Bessie's making some clear shine, so that, be happy. That's clear as it can get. It's looking good. We had a little, little bit of taste of it, and... It's it's apple. It's apple, and it's strong. It's strong apple. Strong apple. All right, so what we got here is our apple simple syrup. Now, again, this is going to need time to cool down, so we've strained it. We looked at it, and it really is relatively clear. There's no for, junk in it for, for a syrup. For a syrup, it's pretty... So... I apparently make really good syrup. Yay yeah. me. Yay. <laughs> so, and we had taste of it, and ah. it has a really ah. good... Really? Sookie's mad because she didn't have a taste of it. <laughs> so it has a really good apple flavor to it, but it also that brown sugar gives it just a hint of caramelly in it. All right, so our simple syrup. Here we go. So we took part of the simple syrup that we mashed out from the apples and the apples, and we put them all in there together. So those are together with the apples that we boiled with a little bit of, of apple juice and sugar. So if the apples here and the apples here aren't enough, we got apples there. Yes. All in on the apple. We, however, did not charge our thump keg with any spice. So we are just going straight apple this time. We are not putting any cinnamon or any other flavor except just apple because we want just an apple brandy. Our next time, we may add a little more. We may go, we may try the apple pie route or... We may make a maple apple. Maple apple, that would be good too. I love a maple apple. Chuck's so, over there like, damn, I missed that. <laughs> we are going to let old Bessie run here. Yes. And... Try and get dogs out of here. Try and get dogs out of the way. And we will be back. Yes. Here we are. We has alcohol. Uh, it's been a minute since we did the run. So I don't remember exactly... What all I had updated you guys on. This one smells really strong. <laughs> <laughs> so we got a little, actually a little less alcohol out of it than went into it. But the alcohol we got started at a much higher proof. So I got my jars number here. Um, now that we've got our new hydrometer and our instructions on how to use it correctly. Uh, this jar came out at 165, 160, 150. 120 and if you can see these are all really clear jars of up until the last up until that one too now this one came out at 70 but you can tell it's very hazy it's almost milky yeah um that one i had a, i made a little boo-boo i missed my cycle on the on the induction eye and it stopped and cooled off a little bit and i had to restart it so i think i got a little extra steam in it which clouded the alcohol we're going to mix it with... Oh, you might want to grab the apple stuff out of the fridge. We're going to mix it with the... Our simple syrup. This bomb-ass apple syrup that Melissa made. Oh, damn, it looks good. Yeah, we might just pull this out and let it warm up a little bit. So, it... <laughs> But that stuff is one step away from like an apple filling that you put in something. But It smells heavenly. It is sweet, it is apple, and it is good. Because Melissa knows what she's doing. That being said, then we got this last little jar on the end here. It came out at like 20 proof. So, it's, <laughs> funnily enough, it's clearer than the one before it. But this is just the, the tail end, so it's going to get chunked. But now, since it's been a minute, we have to go through and retaste these to figure out what we're gonna, how we're gonna proof them. We got some nice distilled mineral mineral water here. This is 165. This is definitely not the kind of thing you just drink. You don't want to get more than a drop or two of this because it'll blow it's your like head off. Paint thinner. Okay, it's got a very, it's very strong. That's for damn sure. There is burn, a lot of burn on it, but it's actually a really clean taste and a lot of apple. It's a lot of apple. It is exactly what it it's is supposed to be. An apple, apple alcohol. That is definitely hot. That was one sixty-five. Let's check the one sixty. You'd think out of the same barrel of alcohol or the same the same run of stuff that 
in a, what is this, a pint jar, pint and a half? Sure. Something like that. The difference between that um, jar and this one wouldn't be significant, but some of them can, some of them can swing sharply. Oh. <laughs> okay, this one. Hmm. <clears throat> Damn. The burn on it kicks in a little more, and it's got a lot more of that. I don't want to say paint thinner bite, but. But definitely has a lot more bite than the other one. Yeah. That's why we're tasting these, because if that one's, if we can't temper that out, we might just skip that one and, and mix it with other ones. Okay, this one's a lot more like the 165. It's still got burn to it, but not as much. Not as much apple, but still a very clean alcohol taste. It definitely still has burn. Definitely a better jar than that one, though. Definitely a better jar than that one. <laughs> I like mine smooth. I like it so I don't even know I'm getting tore up. <laughs> it sneaks up on you. Mm -hmm. All right, so this is the 120. Okay, so this one's pretty neutral all the way around. The bite isn't... The bite isn't as bad, but it's still there. It's still there. It's got a neutral flavor. Not a lot of burn on the back Not end. a lot of apple, though. Not a lot of apple, though. That's I'm missing right. the we apple. We got a whole lot of apple right there, so... I lost my apples. Not a 70. Got a little cloud in this one. Let's see how we how we do. So, on one hand, there's no burn on this. But there's apple. There's a little bit of apple, but there's also a, a wet towel taste to it. There's something. That's not a good jar. That's, yeah. that, that Just pour that out. Yeah, that's so let's, just... No, I wouldn't even try tempering that. No, I'm not going to temper it. I'm just, these are the ones that so far that have been not great. Well, this one has potential. The 160 has potential. That, there is something really bad yeah, that, off in that one. That got manky almost. That one tastes it's kind of like alcohol water. Just pitch both of yeah. those. So we're going to pitch these two and work with what we got up here. So we'll be right back. All right. So we're going to start with our 160 jar, which we've split into two here. That way, if we screw one up, we'll see if the other has any potential. Right. And one of the things that we were doing wrong with the hydrometer before is if you add a syrup or sugar or flavoring to it, it throws off the specific gravity and your measurement is wrong. So we can't measure it with anything other than alcohol and water in it. So we temper it, try to get it down to the level that we're looking for. And then we'll just add more apple with this. And then we add apple with that. So we're going to use this as a measuring device. We're going to go up to these little knurls about halfway up so we don't drop the... So again, starting with the jar of 160 that had the strongest bite to it. Yeah. So I'm going to start with two because I am I know one of those is not going to drop the no. proof in that enough to. All right. Okay, it's mixed pretty well. All right. It's still pretty clear, which is nice. Yep. I haven't clouded it yet. So now that we've got no sugars in it, you put it in and spin it. And you spin it to make sure it lo loses any. So currently, this is reading 140. And it is currently about 70 degrees in here. So. That shouldn't be too big of a swing. It should just be a couple points. I think I'm going to have to go to the actual proof table. <laughs> All right. So you said it's about 70, right? Yeah. And you said it's 140? That's not on that chart. All right. It's not. All right. Give me the. It says there's a full chart. Yeah, hydrometer is 140. And it's about 72 in here, so it's a 135.6. So about 135. Okay, so, but we dropped it like 20 proof. So now we add a little bit more water. Yep. So are you thinking two more? Yep. And then you taste? Well, two more and then we check it again. We'll check it when it gets down to around 110, 120. So we're going to keep doing this till we get down to around 110, 120, we'll be back. So we're at about 115.3. All right, so reading 120 off the hydrometer, 
temperature variation chart, blah, blah, blah. We ought to be at about 115. Let's see, see how she do. The apple's still good. The bite is still there. Bite is still a little bit... It's, the, it's not the, as bad. The fire on the back end is not as bad. It's not the, as bad. The bite is weaker, too. The bite is weaker. Do you think maybe one more? Because that would put that at six of these. I'm say one, one to two more. We ought to, that ought to get it down within about 100. Let's, taste, let's put one more in and taste it and see if we like that. All right. So we're going to keep wiffle waffling here. <laughs> we'll uh, hold you right we'll update you in a bit. We'll update you when we get it to where we think it's drinkable. All right. So we got the 160 jar. Tempered down to right about, well, we've got it split, and they're not exact, but one's at like 100 and one's at like 97 proof. Um, we got most of the bite out of it. The apple's still good. So we are going to... Think about this much? Go for it. I think we're going to need to hit that a little more. Mm. Same amount? Yeah. There you go. There's your barrel aging. It's darker now. <laughs> Still looks like weak tea. <laughs> Somebody pops this open thing and it's tea and takes a jug, or it takes a swig, they're going to, going to get a surprise. going to be a little mad. getting there. I think one more. I think we might have to make more syrup. Oh, shucky darn. I know you're disappointed. You probably think we should have made more to begin with, don't you? Now that's more tea-like. <laughs> Still going to be disappointed if you drink that and think it's sweet tea, though. What do you think? That is definitely apple. An apple shot. I hate to be greedy and say I think it needs another one, but because I, do, I don't know that we're going to have enough left to, <laughs> to do the rest of it. We just have to make more. All right, well, let's put another hit in it. Like, that's good. That's definitely apple. But I think for that apple sweet we're looking for, it needs a hair more. All right, I can't add any more to this one. <laughs> yeah, that, that jar is getting a little... In fact, I'm going to have to stir very lightly. It's apple -y. Just on the edge of being syrupy, though. So. All right, but taste that one. And? Hmm? Pretty much exactly the same. Oh, I did good then. We can probably pour these two into one container and, and mix them up. I was say, just pour it in there. That's going to be the easiest way. <laughs> There we go. 100 proof apple hall. Uh, apple, apple hall? Apple hall. Apple hall. <laughs> How about apple brandy? Apple brandy alcohol. That's pretty good. Now we got to figure out what we're doing with the rest of these. And if we got enough apple to... <laughs> well, we're about to find out. We're about to find out. All right. So that one's pretty good. We put it in, in a bottle, put it on the side. Our next plan, because these three all had a good, clean, neutral uh, alcohol taste. A little more bite on the front end. The 120 was almost clean. We're going to put them together. Mm. We're going to put them together, mix them together. Proof it. Proof it, see where we're at, and we're going to try and temper them all down as one and see if we have enough apple left to do it. All right, it. let's check our proof. Because these two had a good apple flavor to them. They might have enough. So... We started at 165 and we bottomed out at 120. Math says that should end out somewhere around the high 130s, 140? 130, 140 maybe. And that is reading right on 140. All right, so 140 is 135. All right. So, so that's not bad, actually. It's not that bad. Because we know we don't have to do a whole lot to get it down from there, right? Well, you also got to look. We're by volume here. Right. So it still means we're going to have to add. Right. So I guess we start with six of these. 
Well, that's how we were measuring it before. So. Yeah, start with six, I guess, because that's three jars, so we need six, right? Yeah. If I were smart, I'd have measured this out in the first place, and then we could have just used that other um, measured cylinder over there. All right, there you go. Let's see where we are. Oh, we're down to 130. Your 130 puts us at 125. That is 25 milliliters. So just pour one, two, three, four, five, six. To 150? No. I can't count, y'all. I can. I've been sampling. <laughs> I haven't sampled nearly as much, apparently. Still cyclone. It was my favorite truck of the 80s, 90s, cyclone. <laughs> Come on, it was an all-wheel drive turbo small street pickup. That thing should have been just like off the charts. And nobody ever remembers it except for the truck enthusiasts. The truck enthusiasts and the all-wheel drive community. It's just still pretty clear. Alright, that puts us right on 120. That makes us 115. Is that another round of six to pull it down? Or is that four? Uh, might be four, but let's. So four and or that six. apple still. I'd say four for now. Hopefully not too much more, because we're gonna run out. We're of running container. out of container. That's what I was getting ready to tell you. There's your cyclone. <laughs> I wow. just think that looks cool. It's my magic pose. See my cyclone? <laughs> One fifteen. 115 puts us at 110. Two more or four more? Four more. I don't know. Can you just stick it in there and twirl it? I probably could. <laughs> I'd try that. Well, oh, there's probably too much of it in there, in there. Well, no, the amount of it doesn't matter. Okay, well, let's stick it in there and twirl it. <laughs> it's stuck in the cyclone. We're reading 110. 110 puts us at 105. So two more. Two more. The good thing is you know it mixes because you can when you pour it in you can see that water discolor all the way down to the bottom. That looks like 110. Yeah, it's a little under it or like 108, 107. So two more. I think two more will get you where you want. This is the last of what we can put in there though. Yeah. So you better like it. <laughs> we might could theoretically get in. I don't think we'd stir it, though. I don't think we could stir it if we got it in. We could maybe get 25 in, but that's about it. As it is now, I'm wondering if I know where the lid to this is. <laughs> so we can pour it into other things to mix. It's reading about 105. 105 puts us at 100 even. All right. Which is good. That's apple with just enough burn to let you know you got something. That is doable. That is doable. Now I need to find the lid, right? Well, now we need to find... The lid. Okay, I'm going to find the lid. I was going to say we need to find something we can split part of that into. Well, I figured we're going to have to split it into more than one thing, aren't we? Possibly. <laughs> All right, so we made an executive decision. We're going to split this now that we've got it tempered to the right level. Let me get these out the way. <clears throat> into two bottles. And then hopefully we have at least enough sauce to flavor one of them. Well, I would say go ahead and pour what you can into the one bottle. And then we'll start by seeing what we got. I need a little there. So is your plan to fill both and then put what we're working with back into that? Well, I'm going to try and get them even. Ish. Alright, we did cloud that a little bit. Well, right now that's because the air bubbles are hanging in it. We did add relatively a significant amount of water by volume to 
One of them looks clearer than the other. Why is that? Just how it poured in, maybe. Oh, as the buzz bubbles are dissipating, it's clearing up again. Yeah. Yeah, I know, that's counterproductive. But we needed to make sure we had an equal amount in both. I'd say we just go ahead and start with like four of those. If we've got four to go. Well. You might have three. All right, stir that up, and then I'm going to need you to pour me a little bit of that into both of these to get the rest of the syrup out. Maybe you could put a little bit more in to get some more out. Bite's not bad. Apple's pretty good. I feel like it's stronger than that one. It is stronger than that one. Okay. But the bite is a little bit stronger than that one now. So we definitely need more syrup. Yeah, we need to make more syrup. That could be all right. I think it could use a little bit more syrup. That's going to be okay for anybody who really loves the bitter taste of alcohol. Who, who likes the bite? Who and, likes and the alcohol? People, there are people out there who really love the bite. For me, that's really still a little bit too strong. And for some of the people I know we're going to be sharing with, this might still be a little too strong. But let's pour this back in here because yes. we know we have to store it for now. We're going to make some more simple syrup, some apple simple syrup. And then we will finish flavoring both of these and we'll let them sit for a couple weeks. Of course, that being said, we can let this sit for a little bit and chill and see how it does. See if it pulls the bite out anymore. Yeah. So, there you go. We got, I think these are, are these 1.5 liter bottles or 1.2 liter? I have no clue. Does, does it say? Nope. That, ow. So we got two of these. <laughs> and four of those little ones. And four of them little ones. Those have been flavored. One of those has been flavored. This has not been flavored. And we need to make more apple syrup. But we have managed to make apple brandy. Come on. All right, quick break in the video action. We've got a joy. So we're going to shoehorn her into the video because everybody loves a little joy in their life. Look, the truth <laughs> is joy was here when we started this apple brandy run. And it's only right if Joy gets to taste the product. So this. This is one we've already hit the flavors on. That's the fully flavored one. Mm -hmm. And this is just the straight alcohol, no extra flavoring. This is like a soza? It's going gonna, it's gonna to be Shot. a little hot, yeah. Okay. It's going to. Sip it. It's going to be more like a whiskey. Yeah, sip it. Which one should so, I try? So start with this one. Start with this start one. With this one. Yeah, because yeah, this is the clear, this is the unflavored. But don't take it like a shot. You want to smell it. You want to let it sit on your tongue oh. a little bit. You want to sip it. You don't take it like a shot. Like a shot, it'll burn all the way Th down. This is this is the origin, or at least in my head, of the phrase sipping whiskey. Yeah. I thought it was water, and I was curious no, why no, no. did you guys put the water in the expensive <laughs> doll? <laughs> that is not water. Okay. Do you smell any apple in there? Mm -hmm, I can smell that. Shorty, so. Sip. Let it sit on your tongue a little bit before you swallow. Can oh, it's you strong? Can you taste the apple? Definitely. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's hundred proof apple brandy. Yeah, it's strong. It has Wait, a, it. It burns hurts. a little bit. Yeah. Hurt. Whiskey hurts a little. Breathe, breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. The first sip of it always burns the most. <laughs> <laughs> it's in your sinuses now. Breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that is It's really strong, cool. right? Stronger than ever I've tried yeah. Really? You are. All right. So this one, we have flavored more with our apple yes. syrup. Pretty much the same strength. That's between 95 and 100 proof. But... It's tempered with a little more apple. We, te we tempered it with some more apple flavor. So I will sip it twice. Okay. Mm. Smoother. More smoother and sweet and fruity. Still strong. Still strong. <laughs> so Joy wants a bottle of that once we temper it down and make it lower. <laughs> we'll lower one for you. Still burns. Oh, you still know it's got alcohol in it. Yeah. <laughs> Joy's like that. It's not. Uh, that one is very like more like I can enjoy. Yeah. That one is really strong. I never had. That one still needs to have apple syrup. Yeah, this one this one hasn't been given any flavoring yet. This is just straight. Also, apple that one's warm and not cold, which makes yes. a difference. 
So we'll first try with some apple, but if we need to add a little more water for a jar for you, we'll do that. Trust yes, me, please. yours is more like mine. <laughs> We're going to have to do that probably for Miss Kim, too. So. We'll probably just do a whole one of these. We'll try and bring it down a little bit. I, I think the next, that one there we should bring down. We'll, we'll probably split this into two jars and then try to temper it down. Bring it down to a sweet level for because Joy and Miss Kim are probably going to really want the more sweeter than they are the bitter. Mm. All right, so back to the reg regularly scheduled closing of this video. <laughs> So, we are going to go celebrate and maybe go watch some anime. And we'll catch y'all around next time. Like, subscribe, do the internet stuff. CR, buy us a coffee lean if you want to treat the dogs to a, to a new toy. And uh, we'll see y'all around next time. May's head popped up at the sound of treat. <laughs> of course. Like, yes.